What's going on, guys? Paul Matrix here, and today we are taking a look at TK06 Machine Chaser. The figure comes with a couple of accessories. First, his gun. Then, this tire Kokon-esque accessory. This pokey accessory. And this wing-like accessory. All of these will combine in different ways to make his, well, weapons. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the figure up close. Chaser is a lot thinner in toy form than he looks in the show, and I'm okay with that, but the added bulk of his costume really adds a sense of menacement, menacement or menacing sense to him. It's not a bad figure by any stretch of the imagination, it's just a little bit odd that they went this way with the design, but you have a lot of inlaid molding and a lot of really nice paint job, or really nice paint going on with this figure, and that head sculpt is simply fantastic. The amount of detailing and the amount of just grossness that comes with this figure in the head sculpt is probably one of my favorite things about Kamen Rider Drive. It's just a really nice looking feet, a nice looking head. It works on so many levels. Just very, very nice. Very, very cool. Up here on the stand, you can see how thin the figure is. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure why they decided to go with this. You can also see the tire Kokon gimmick there on his back, which, if I'm honest, doesn't work all that well, to be quite frank. It it just sticks out so much, and it looks so big compared to the rest of the figure. It's not integrated well at all. I understand why they did it, because that's kind of the way he is in the show, but it just doesn't work. But then again, how often are you going to see the back of the figure? All of those accessories can then be sandwiched together via just a set of pegs, and then just slapped onto his back, like so, for easy storage. They do have a tendency to flop around, but there is a very small little peg hole here on the back of his tubing that this other little peg on the hose unit snaps into to keep it from spinning around. One other thing you need to be aware of is this shoulder piece does have a tendency to pop off very easily, but it goes on just as easily. I kind of wish it wasn't as floppy, though. Not a big deal, just something to be aware of. Simply unfolding the wings out just gives him the ability to fly, and the show the wings are significantly larger. Pulling the wings and the spider thingy off, you then unfold the hose bit, turn it around and peg the smaller peg hole into his forearm. And this is probably the hardest part of any of his transformations. And then you have his whip. Then you have his whip with the other bits on his forearm, like so. So that is his whip mode, or his snake mode. Then to go from snake mode to his, what I like to call his bow and arrow mode, simply fold up the hose and extend the wings, like so. And you can, if you want, spin this around or point it, have it pointing forward. But here is what I like to call his archery mode. So you have the archery mode with the brake gun. Finally, for the last mode, simply pop off the little spider bit and then flip the connector around and plug it back in. And you get, and fold those back, and you get his spider. I guess this is the spider mode. So you get this stabbing gimmick mode. So it all works, sort of. I think this is the weakest mode, in all honesty. My buddy Denno over at tokunation.com has got a really nice gallery going of TK06. But unfortunately, I don't think the figure works with any of the other tire Kokons. The gimmick of it being plugged in on his back really just makes all the tire Kokons kind of pointless in all honesty. It just doesn't work all that well. Now, he's done a fantastic job of making it look like it work works with different accents and some of the special effects gimmicks, but I'm not feeling it. I just think they kind of missed the mark with this guy. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit unimpressed with TK-06 Machine Chaser. I can't really recommend him. I would say only pick him up if you absolutely have to have him. If you need a machine chaser in your life, 
I would suggest trying to get a hold of the SH Figure Arts toy. I know it's not out yet, but it is coming, and I think that's going to be a much better version of the character. Now, this one is going to be much more toy-centric. My biggest complaint about the figure, other than the fact that he seems much thinner than I think he should be, is the quality of his components, or the extra bits. They're all made of super, very cheap, very flexible rubber and plastic that just doesn't work that well. Style-wise, the figure looks great, but function-wise, not so much. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video review of TK06 Machine Chaser. I'm Bolt Matrix, asking you to like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, I will catch you next time.